In this video, I'm going to be showing how to RNG manipulate for shiny fishing encounters in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Uh, so, let me go ahead and get my game open. Uh, and while I'm setting this up, uh, I'll address something. So, I'm only sh gonna show off how to do this. I have in Fire and Leaf Green. I have no plans to do this in Emerald, because trust me, I tried to learn how to do it in Emerald, but uh, you know, in Emerald, it's actually like a more of a timed input. And here, I can just you know do it, and then well, right here, and then I can sit on the screen for as long as I want. But in Emerald, it doesn't work like that. It's a pain in the butt not gonna figure out how to do it in Emerald so if you want to get a certain Pokemon shiny in Emerald uh, that's fishing only I recommend just catching that Pokemon and then like doing egg RNG or something easier because it's this is not doing fishing RNG in Emerald is not it so let me just reload my save here so what you're gonna want to do uh, I'm gonna go for like a shiny polywag on this route or something uh, Make sure you have your fishing rod registered to the select button, or since we're on emulator, it should be backspace. Uh, make sure you save, you know, in here, ready to fish. Uh, I'm on, wait, route six? So I've got this ready. Then we're going to go to tools, we're gonna to go to scripting, and you're gonna load this script I put in the description. Uh, it just lets you monitor your seed and stuff, and that never works. Uh, Come on, don't do this to me. Let me split it first try. There we go. Okay, so before we even do anything else, we're going to want to make sure we have a Pokefinder uh, profile set up. So we're going to go to Gen 3. Uh, I think this falls under Wild. Yep. Uh, so Gen 3 Wild, we're going to go to Manager, going to go to New, and you know, this is for Fire Red Leaf Green, so select whichever version you're playing. You can name it whatever. And then over here, you want to put in the TID and SID into these two spots. Now, you want to make sure that the Pokemon that's displayed here is a Pokemon that you caught in your save and not one traded over from another trainer. Because if it's traded over from another trainer, then, then the TID and SID of that Pokemon will be different than the TID and SID of your trainer. So that's why you want to do it with a Pokemon that you caught. So that way the TID and SID it's showing off here are your TID and SID. Which this is my starter so of course I know it's mine. So I already have one created. I'm not going to create a new one. But after you create it make sure you select the profile up here. So Fire Red. Uh, then change Encounter to I, whichever rod you're using. I th I'm using Super Rod. So change that to Super Rod. I'm Route 6. Yep. And I'll go for just a shiny polywag. I don't want to try too hard. And set shiny to star square. And uh, now, okay, I know it, my advances are pretty high up there, but the advances reset after you go off this screen because that's when your actual seed is generated. So, see, now it reset. Now I have my seed. So, B61D, we're going to go back to Pokefinder and put in our seed as. B six one D and okay not a good seed you know I don't want to wait that long so simply I'm just gonna unpause my game reload my save mash through the title and hope I get a better seed okay two seven three five let's go here two seven three five and eh, still not that good let's just try again okay three three C A seven so 3CA7 generate I'm not getting good luck am I I might just have to speed up this footage until I get a good seed okay I found a decent seed 1796 hopefully that's not too early uh, but we'll try it out if it is too early you're gonna see an abrupt cut in this video to me finding a better seed that's not too early so uh, I'll go ahead and create a safe state here we're gonna click through the stuff as fast as possible uh, so my advance is at 688 already and I need to make sure I have enough time to be able to actually get this encounter so I'll create another save state here uh, shift F1 and immediately throw out my fishing rod 
And hopefully I got a bite. Okay, so, perfect. We got the bite. I'd create another save state here. Uh, and I recommend creating a save state, like, not too close to your target advance. I don't think the offset is going to be that big of a deal in this one specifically, but that's just, like, the common practice for all this RNG manipulation is create a safe state, couple hundred or even a thousand frames if you have, if you can, uh, before your target advance. So I'm going for 1796. Okay. So I just need to wait till I get there. I'm just going to speed up. Okay. And then I'm going to control P to pause, control N, and I'm going to manually advance frames till I get there. 17. Come on, 17, uh, 17, 9, 6, okay, 17, 9, 6 advances at the top, 17, 9, 6 advances here, so now that we're on our target advance, you're going to want to hold down your A button, which is, should be X on the keyboard, then while holding it down, press Control and P, which will unpause your game, and this key combination, just make sure that as soon as the game is unpaused, your A button press is pressed on that exact frame. So X, Control, P, and we got a Gyarados, which not what we we're aiming for, but that's fine. So we're going to go to Capture to get the stats about the Gyarados, and we're going to go to this Python program I wrote. Uh, I know I've said this on every video I've showcased this, but you don't need this program. You can do math yourself, but it's just, <clears throat> I've used this in every RNG manipulation thing I've ever done, so, yeah. It just does the math for you, basically, so you don't have to think as hard. Uh, so, my target frame, I was aiming for 1796. So I put in 1796, and hit enter, and then we gotta figure out what frame we actually hit instead of the one we were aiming for. So. We got a Gyarados, uh, it was not shiny, its nature is uh, docile, its hidden power is rock, and usually this is enough information to go off of, but if you want to, you know, put more information just so you can, just to be safe, you can just say, this one's male, and then you can generate, and we're just going to look for close frames to see which one we, pro we think we hit. So, the goal here is just we're going to match up this PID to one here. So, I'm looking for 5v6, and you can already tell, you know, there's not one anywhere close, which you might think, uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, really, just switch the method you're searching for. So, switch to wild 2, and wait, I'm going for 5v6, let's see if there's 5v6, I don't see it. Okay, so just switch to, <laughs> switch to wild 4, and there it is, 5v6. Uh, so, the only thing this really does, I think you're going to encounter the same Pokemon on each, you know, wild method. I think it's just the stats that differentiate. So, wild 4 is where we got this Gyarados, which was slot, or advanced 1800. So, I'm going to enter 1800 over here. And you'll see it's a 4 frame difference. But, just to make sure, we're going to go back to our Poliwag, put it on sh shiny, put it on g gender any, turn off that. Turn off that, and I'm going to generate. And you're going to see it's still shiny in the same frame. It's just different stats than before. So uh, now we know we need to aim for 1792. So we're going to put that there. We can minimize this, and I'm just going to reload my save state and advance till I get to 1792. Hopefully I don't miss it. Okay. Now pause the game, manually advance. 1792 just like this. Now do the same thing again. Hold down your A button or X on the keyboard I guess. Control P and you can already see it up there. Uh, but there it is. Shiny Poliwag. I know his shiny kinda sucks. He's just a lighter blue but it's a shiny Poliwag. Uh, that's really all there is to it. I think the delays for all the fishing is just a difference of four so you could probably just put that into Pokefinder itself. I could yeah just do this and it would give you the correct frame to aim for. But the reason I did it this way is because this is a tool you can use for RNG manipulation all the time. And, you know, because you can look up and find the delays for each of these ones on the internet. But 
that's a lot of effort if you're doing a lot of RNG manipulation like I am. So I just use this. It's faster for me. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. Uh, I hope this was able to help somebody. But yeah, that's it.